it's pretty good. You'll see here that our choice of space wasn't ideal. The big issues were that there was light coming in behind Bella, so it made it hard to see her, and it just wasn't a wide enough space. So we pivoted and we moved to a better location. Let's do a different, can you turn, is that a chair? It's on a chair, can you turn it around and stand yeah. not in a tight spot like that? Oh yeah. Get into a more open space. Perfect. That's gonna be good, that's gonna be good. All right, so face, uh, turn to your right, Turn to your right and face sideways. Yep, there you go. Turn your feet, yep. I want to see you bend forward, touch your toes. Here we're just doing a screen of the lumbar spine and notice that I want to see Bella move certain directions and I want to see her from particular angles. So if she's moving through the sagittal plane doing flexion and extension, I want to see her through the frontal plane. And vice versa, if she's doing side bending through the frontal plane, I want to see her head on through the sagittal plane. Take note of that. So if you're measuring movements, you do want to be very aware of the plane or the direction that you're looking at a patient. Keep your knees, yeah, there you go, good. Can you go any further than that? You look pretty flexible. Cool, come on up. Any pain or pull in your ankle? No. Okay, put your hands on your hips. Tell me if you feel anything in your ankle. Hands on your hips. Oh, my hips, no. Yeah. And bend backwards. Yep, good. Come back up and do it one more time. Good, turn and face me please. Keep your hands right there on your hips. Uh, put your feet closer together and bend to your right side. Good, go further if you can. No problem, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, bend to your left side. Any problem with that? No. All right, cool, put your hands across your chest. Good. Keep your, um, you know what, just look as far as you can to your left. Rotate your body, keep your feet where they are. Rotate, like turn your shoulders. Keep going, keep going, keep going. As a physical therapist, your powers of observation are always being put to the test. As a telehealth PT, even more so. In the next 10 seconds, please observe this patient demonstrate to you the range of motion of her right hip and the range of motion of her right knee. If you could take your shoe and sock off of that. Yeah. Back up, back up a little bit so I can see your feet easily when you bring your foot up. Hey. Um, all right, so put your right.